I'm making a half subtractor using AutoCAD Capture Light Edition half subtractor. So I will be making like a new uh, project. You can see here. I will name it as Sub One. So that you know, it can be some other name. Analog or mixed A by D uh, is already pressed over here. So I will press OK. Radical block. OK. You can make the same program using blank project also, uh, but I'm using hierarchical block over here. You can use any in any way. When I open this as plus sign, uh, this plus sign of sub one, I will get schematic two and schematic one. Schematic one has uh, page one, which is actually hierarchical block. Uh, first of all, let me delete this because I have already explained in the previous videos that this may create some problem. So in half subtractor we have two inputs and two outputs because we have like uh, two inputs it's a two bit subtraction so we have two inputs and we have a borrow and a difference uh, so here we have only one output so we are supposed to add one output more so i will go to it i i pressed in the middle of this uh, like like this i pressed and then i'm going to edge which is highlighted now so i will name it like borrow i consider that already the difference is there so I will name it as borrow, okay, and I will place it here, and this is done. So I I actually made it like two times, not required. So if I make it like this, I can press backspace, so it goes away. But I will use a wire because I need to place the voltage marker later here. So I will be using a wire, and then I will use end wire. I will have to press it two times because sometimes it does not stop with once. So here uh, in this uh, diagram we have to give input so uh, I will use place part and go to source and press digital clock and press ok and see I am doing it like this I will place the input like this okay. and then I will use wire and connect the input with this while we are doing the connection please make sure that you press it at the start and at the end otherwise the connection you can see here there is some problem I am I can see some red line over here I would just like to press it once so that the connectivity is more now, now I am sure about the connectivity double click any one of the off time and change it to like any any value like I am changing it to 0.3 microseconds so, so that I will get I may get some variety of inputs so that I can understand the half subtractor problem now this completes my uh, hierarchical block so I can minimize the hierarchical block, the lower uh, screen, not the entire or capture light edition. After this I will open this plus sign of schematic 2, page 1 and I will go directly to the circuit now. Now in this circuit only one out is there uh, as it was shown in hierarchical block. Uh, so I will put it, take it little farther, far away so that I can make the circuit in between. Wire, I don't need this wire, so I will remove it. Now these inputs are similar. IN1, IN2, I have used in hierarchical. I am using it same here also. So it, it is matching. To this. There will be no uh, net listing problem. Out is also same. I need one more output. So I will go to place port here. Pin I have to place. Uh, so uh, like port L I need, which is the output port. So I will be placing it in away from this like this. And then end mode and I will I will just double click this port uh, and name it as borrow as I did in hierarchical so that there is proper uh, matching with each other they are the inputs and outputs are matching with each other so they can uh, correlate with each other and when we do the uh, simulation part it will be easy uh, for us to understand otherwise we may get some errors now after this we have to make a circuit, we will go to place part and I will write here in eval, library eval, I will write, uh, we need like two gates, uh, three gates in fact, 7486, this is an XOR gate, I will place it in front of the inputs, then I have to place it and then after that I also need OR gate, um, sorry NOT gate, 7404. 7404 you can see it's a NOT gate so I will be placing it somewhere here 
and uh, then end mode and again i will go to place part and i will using 7408 and gate so i will be using it and placing it somewhere here because i need it as an output so for uh, uh, difference that is the out here uh, we need xor gate output so i will be using buyer and i will be connecting see whenever you have to connect make sure you stop at some point and then press press it stop at some point press it again and then once you press it again go and press it so in this way the connectivity will be good again i need wires because i have to connect with the output as well you can see here this is the output this output is actually your uh, difference for borrow you have to connect the and gate with the output like this and like this okay. then for uh, uh, borrow uh, you need this NOT gate so uh, the first input has to be given to the NOT gate and then the second this one is has to be given to uh, AND gate input one of the input actually so I will be giving it like this directly also And this one I have to give it to the other input of the add gate. So done. I'm done with this. The circuit is complete and like it has been completed properly. So I can minimize this circuit now and I'm going to hierarchical block again. And now I can uh, go to P Spice, new simulation profile. I can uh, give it some name, any name my choice and create when I create this I will get this one and uh, uh, this is the uh, simulation profile so 10 microsecond I have to set the timing uh, this run to time otherwise I won't be able to see the simulation results properly okay and once I press okay uh, I have to place voltage markers at both input and output side once I place the voltage markers end mode and finally, I can run the program. When I run the program, it shows me again the simulation results like this. So you have to read these results uh, for like 1, 0 as inputs. First two are the inputs. 1, 0 input, output is 1 and borrow is 0. Okay, working fine. Uh, for 1, 1, output is 0, borrow is also 0. For 0, minus 1, output is 1 and borrow is also 1. Because 0 minus 1 gives me 1 1. It is working properly. So, uh, this is how half subtractor works using ORCID uh, uh, software. So, if you have any doubts, please write in the comment section and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.